Following a special meeting of the Floyd County Fiscal Court, $250,000 was allocated to the Floyd County Sheriff's Department to aid in additional patrolling. Fiscal Court obviously got other, I think, other general fund for $200,000. Uh, so that picked us up a couple of deputies right there, two more. Um, then uh, the opioid funding, uh, I think, is where the, the Fiscal Court found some more money to, to, uh, to hand down to us to help fight the opioid problem. And uh, so we're also doing that. And we uh, so we made a drug detective uh, out of that money to uh, get him uh, to do some specialized drug stuff. So um, that'll come in handy. And obviously, we've uh, picked up some additional calls. Some more calls of service has come our way through the 911 answering. So uh, those additional deputies are, uh, were needed. And uh, so we hope uh, it'll quickly get up and running and those deputies get out on the road where they can provide that service. Are you ready for a new school year? What better way to start a new school year off right than with a new device on the network that keeps our students and teachers connected. Appalachian Wireless. Whether you need a new smartphone, wearable, or an iPad, we have your back-to-school solution. Visit AppalachianWireless.com or go into one of our 26 retail locations for our back-to-school deals that'll help you show up and show out this school year. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. An estimated 60% of ambulance responses and social work calls require law enforcement. This funding will allow for additional deputies to respond to calls from the public. Obviously, additional deputies help go a long way covering, uh, especially hours in the uh, midnight, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning when criminals know that we're not out in, in presence uh, in strong uh, force at that time, probably. And they know our response time is very slow if you have to call somebody, get them out of bed, get them to go that route. So this will help fill that gap a little bit and that don't, it don't make us, uh, you know, we're still trying to be 22 hours, maybe 23, 24. Um, so that, but that all helps. And maybe after we see how the funding goes, maybe we can hire that one person to really full it, uh, fill in the gap and make it 24 seven. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.